Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Learn Smart Coding. This is a continuation of the previous video. We are talking about the API management. This is part three. So what we are going to do in this video is we are going to uh, to see how to set up the developers portal for API management. Okay, so I have logged into my account, which is portal.azure.com. And if I go to the resource that I have created, uh, this is the resource that you are seeing. And here on the you know overview blade you can see developers portal so if you click on developers portal it will take you to another page like you know the separate page and let's see how it looks and you can also see how the you know the endpoint is looking see learn smart coding dash api dot dev dot developers portal this is the url basically okay this is the gateway url so don't get confused so when you do this first time when you open this for the first time like very first time the complete look and feel will have some default template so the developer portal will have some default template which will have this this section this like you know contoso is the famous one uh, which we will always see for the for the examples okay so you can see all these things okay so basically every single thing here is configurable you can remove something like i don't like this i can remove this i can change the name you know you can add anything you can completely redesign this website the way you want it to show for the developers okay i'm not going to do that now because i'm here to teach you how to do that so you know how to do this like and then if you do everything you can click on save and then once you do those things you can click on save it will get saved so once you've done all the changes and you can hit on save let's say i can actually change this name um into whatever i want okay so once you're done with this let's let's come let's reward this okay so once you did everything and you can click on save it will be saved but if you refresh this page or even if you try to open this page again you'll still have these problems okay so the reason is uh, what you have to do is this one is not published yet all right so in order for us to publish this portal the changes that we have made right you have to scroll down to the left side under the developers portal click on the portal overview you see this the developer portal has not been published yet so click on publish do a yes now it is updating and its revision has been updated this is the revision i copied this and i opened up a new tab where i have not logged in so now if i open up this okay now you see this this is like the deployed version of our developer portal where I can actually click on it. Okay, so if I click Explore API, it will take me to to the to the one which is available. And if you remember, we added the Essential Product API, but that's not listed here. Okay, so I will tell you how to uh, make this available here. So you can actually search API. Let's go back. Let's click on Sign Up. You can actually provide your email address to sign up here uh, as a developer. Okay, so what we will do is before we do a sign up. Let's first add the new API that we added into the account. So I'm coming back to the portal. So if you come to this portal and uh, click on products. Okay. So right now there are two products. Basically product means it's a, it's something that the default one, which already has, it's called starter product and an unlimited product. You can add your own product here, but the predefined one has starter which can accessible from administrator developers guest okay and then if you want to add the product you can actually you can actually add the product here and you can also select whether the added product so let's say uh, we have a product called consumption product okay so it is based on the number of request so i'm telling this has to be published it requires a subscription they cannot just use it uh, free and if i check this it will come for my approval and if i approve only that developer who has subscribed to this can uh, able to access it okay and then it can also tell you how many subscripts are or how many subscribers right how many subscription count uh, is allowed for this kind of a product let's leave it uh, empty and then here itself you can add the product okay so let's say i'm clicking on create and like here also you can add a product so let's say i'm clicking on add and here it will list the products that we have okay so i'm choosing this one and then say create okay so it will create a new product 
okay so the new product name called consumption which is accessible by the administrators and and not only that it already has the product so let's take a look at this one if i click on starters here i can come and add the product okay so the reason why i'm showing this is today you might have one product tomorrow you can have many products coming up like many apis coming up and if you want to uh, put those apis also the service also into any of the existing product you can do so or you can actually create a new product which is meaningful in so in organization basically what they will do is uh, any new services come the product also will be named related to the service for understandable purpose okay uh, okay so for now let's choose this i added this product to this uh, i i added this api to this product so which is saved let's go back similarly for unlimited also we can add so it's added okay so all the three has uh, these products added all right so the product is added now what we have to do is let's go to the subscription and see you can subscription will tell us the products and all the uh, stuff here let's go to users all right so right now the users has only my name that's fine so we will see how new users are coming up here so now we have the apis added to the product so let's go and sign up from the developer portal all right so i am here on the sign up page on the sign up page i need to list my email id and then password i need to give some password which is uh, strong so this is for my account okay so i have filled up all the sign up information okay so i'm going to sign up here so once i sign up all right so i entered the new capture code and then the sign up is done so if i do a sign in i can actually sign in so I was trying to sign in and then I was receiving this kind of an, uh, you know, validation error, right? So basically the email address that we provided, we need to, uh, you know, confirm the email address that we are a real person. So let's go back to that email and see how it looks. See, uh, this is my Gmail to which the email has come. Please confirm this, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to click on this to get it confirmed. So once this is confirmed, we can go back and do a sign in. So now if I sign in, you can see it allowed me to go inside. Okay. So now what we can do is now click on APIs in the top. You can actually see the API that's coming up. Click on this API. Okay. You can actually click on that API and you can see all the details here. Okay. So let's see. So this is my thing and this is the, uh, you know, the actual owner's one. So let's click on this all category and let's try this out. Let's see what happens. Okay, so I clicked on send and okay. So because the browser is hitting, you can see unable to complete the request. Okay, the cross origin issue sharing is not enabled. Uh, basically, we are hitting it from a different URL to this one. So it's not allowing. Let's go back and fix it. So let's go to the portal. Let's go to portal settings. The portal overview okay so here you see this under the publish one there's something called enable cross so we have enabled the cross and then we will also enable the azure ad authentication so i'm going to enable this okay we don't need to enable this okay so we can just leave it here and then now the cross is enabled so let's go back let's hit the send button and here you go the request went but we got 401 unauthorized which is good so anyone who just subscribed or I mean anyone who just enrolled as a developer cannot access the API. They need to subscribe to that and get the key. Only then they can use it. So let's see how to do that. So I'm going to click on this. going to click on the product. And you see this under product. The one that we created is not there because probably we did not publish it. That's why it's not coming. But let's click on the starter product. Okay. So once you have the starter product and uh, what you have to do is you have to you have to subscribe to it. So here's a new your new product subscription name. So I would say starter product and then this is enabled. Click on subscribe. So after the subscription, you can see your account details. You can see two keys, the primary key and the secondary key. OK, so these keys are required. Okay, so now we have subscribed to that product and uh, started 
thing. So now let's go back to APIs and try that out, whatever we did and see if that works now. Okay, so all category, try this out and click on send. It's sending. All right. So if you noticed when you click now, it is sending a couple more information. It is sending no cash. It is sending something called OCP APIM subscription key. So the key, the primary key or the secondary key, right, that we used, you can see here, uh, this is the uh, subscription key and what what is the subscription. So here we are using the primary starter, which is the primary key. So based on the primary key, this request being sent with the key and then because the key is valid, you're subscribed, you are now allowed to access the API. So API gateway is now uh, determining your authorized person and then it is giving you the result so it's forwarding the request back to the backend api and the backend api is processing it doesn't care who called it just as long as it receives the request and it's all valid it's going to respond to it okay and then you receive this uh, the data back so that's how uh, the developer portal is being set up so now you know how to set up the developer portal from the portal you can you can customize the developer portal and then you can publish it you can enable the cross origin resource sharing under the portals overview and then as a as a developer you need to sign up then subscribe to one of the product and then if you access the api you should be able to access it i hope you enjoyed this uh, in the next video we'll talk about products groups securities policies and more thanks for watching if you like my video don't forget to subscribe my channel like it share it comment it and never forget to click on the bell icon